Hi students, welcome. Now our problem is projection of lines topic. Midpoint problem. The midpoint of a straight line AB is 60 mm above HP and 50 mm in front of BP. The line measures 80 mm long and inclined at an angle of 30 degree to HP and 45 degree to BP. Draw its projection. Clear. So let us assume a line actually the line measures 80 mm let us consider from here to here it is 80 mm so the line a b no so this is end a this is end b clear so a to b distance is 80 mm now the midpoint of a straight line a b so midpoint means this one let us consider m m stands for mid midpoint so the m point how much distance from reference plane means 60 mm above HP and 50 mm in front of VP. Which one? Midpoint, not end, midpoint. Clear. So the midpoint is 60 mm above HP and 50 mm in front of VP. And it's inclined 30 degree to HP and 45 degree to VP. It is also inclined to both the planes. Clear. So now this is problem is very simple. Let us consider instead of the total 80 A M B, let us consider M to B only. That is you forget about front end A to M, you, you forget. So now your line length is instead of 80, now you first off if you are forget height means second of M to B. How much is size? 40. So just previous problem similar to previous problem, instead of that dimension here let us consider 40 means what is the solution. Okay, first you complete it. Very simple. You draw one X, Y. The midpoint clear the midpoint m how much distance 60 mm above hp so 60 mm above hp midpoint m means m dash and 50 50 mm in front of vp m clear as it is same procedure you draw the locus of m dash this is locus of m dash this one is locus of m then a line is inclined 30 degree and 45 degree to hp and vp no so 30 degree this line angle is 30 degree this one is 45 degree actually what is the second half of the size the total length is 80 mm a to b a to b a b is 80 mm let us consider this is midpoint therefore m b is we know that 40 therefore take 40 as the radius m dash as the center intersect arc on that incline line 30 degree incline line this is b first inclination front to dash b1 dash here also from m you mark 40 distance line Okay, this is B2 without dash because stop you. After that, you know, you draw the locus of locus of B dash. This is locus of B. Then, as it is, you draw a vertical line from B1 dash up to that locus of m this is b1 m to b1 as the radius m as the center you draw one arc that arc where it is intersecting on that locus of b this is end b okay next similarly b2 as the starting point from b2 you draw one vertical line up to that locus of m dash this is b2 top view this is b2 dash front view same m dash as the center m dash to b2 dash as the radius you draw one arc that arc where it is intersecting on the locus of b dash this point is b dash clear so now our answer which one m dash b dash this one is 
half of the elevation length because we are taken only half of the true length therefore this is half of the elevation length similarly m to b this is half of the plan length clear so let us assume the actual line 80 mm long we are taken only 40 let us assume it is it is inclined to hp means the end b is inclined to hp upward automatically the end a is inclination is comes down similar case the end b is away from vp 45 degree inclined means similar case as the same time end a is towards vp same inclination correct so therefore what is the projection from m to b same projection it comes to m to a clear therefore the m dash b dash line is there no same direction you extend it clear the m dash b dash line you extend it from m dash okay so how much distance from m dash to b1 b dash same distance m dash to another end so this one is a dash so therefore from here a dash to b1 b dash complete is final elevation length similar procedure m b is there no same line will be extended from m clear same direction how much distance b to m is the same distance m to a clear so this complete is plan length the end is a clear here b1 dash b1 b2 dash b2 m dash m all are coinciding in the same vertical line therefore here also you draw one vertical line from b dash is exactly coincide with b means it's correct similarly a and a dash okay b to m equal to a, a m data so this one in case sometimes okay the a is cross over that x y also just imagine in case the a is cross over for example like this in the m m dash b dash b okay in case like this x y so what what is the meaning so the end a is lies in second quadrant because both front and top is lies in second quadrant sometimes the both a, a dash and a is comes below x y means the end a is lies in fourth quadrant or sometimes some of the problem are sometimes the a is goes up and a dash comes down for example what is the meaning the end b is first quadrant b dash is above x y b is below x y but end a is third quadrant because a dash is below h p and behind v p so a is lies in third quadrant possibilities are there for your solution based on that line length based on that inclination okay but in this approximate uh, without the instrument the diagram i got a dash and b dash both are lies in first quadrant a and b both are lies in that same lies in first quadrant only above hp in front of vp sometime possibilities are there another end this lies either it is a third or second or fourth quadrant also clear so midpoint problem is you take second half you complete as per the procedure final answer you extend it in opposite direction at same size now we get midpoint problem is over clear thank you